everybody. As many of you know, I published a video about two days ago at this point in which I basically did a redesign, a palette redesign of the three pastel Huda Beauty Obsessions palettes that have been announced recently. A lot of you guys really enjoyed that video. So I decided to continue with that sort of theme and make another video of me basically designing eyeshadow palettes. This time I'm gonna be designing my own eyeshadow palette though, and I'm gonna be taking inspiration from the new Lady Gaga single and music video called Stupid Love. Now, at this point it is 10, 18 p.m. on the 27th of February. This music video and song is supposed to come out in about one and a half hours. So by the time this video goes live, it would have already launched, but she did do a teaser video, which I'm not gonna put in this video because I don't want to get sued but there were so many just like elements in it that I found so inspiring there were so many like just bright pops of color her makeup was also very interesting the entire aesthetic of the video was quite fascinating and I was really inspired to do a color story based on that video from what we can see of it so far and better yet I decided to do a color story and a mock-up of a palette using shades that I already own in my own makeup collection so this is a palette right here and all of these colors, all of them, were obtained from palettes or shadows or highlighters that I already own in my collection. If you're new to my channel though, by the way, I feel like this is a good time to like, just give you a little bit of a rundown on what this channel is about. I do post makeup videos here on the internet pretty regularly and I like to do a lot of redesigns, I like to do a lot of palette mock-ups, I talk a lot about consumerism, makeup spending, artistry, I like to be very creative with my makeup, so I tend to do a, a lot of that on my channel. So I put a few videos on the screen so you can see what I'm about, and I also have an Instagram under the handle Anushka MUA, on which you can see makeup looks such as this one as well, if you're interested in that sort of thing. So with that being said, let me just dive down to and get those palettes that are currently on the floor. I'll be right back. All right, so these are the palettes. Sneak peek, all right, you can't see anymore. This is a palette right here, and as you can see, it's super, super bright. There is a lot of color in here. It is quite haphazard, all right? But I wanted to take a few elements from different parts of the music video because for, there's just so much going on. You have like this like sort of alien aesthetic, which I find to be really, really interesting. So there's a lot of bright colors in this palette that are taken from that um, theme. And then when you like, open the trailer, there's like this really like just bright, saturated array of colors. You have like a little bit of neon green, you have like just blues in the background, and I specifically wanted to take inspiration from those elements as well. So in the teaser for the music video, you have basically Lady Gaga just like standing amongst this like crowd of alien-like individuals, and there's just so much going on in this scene. I was particularly inspired by the various gradients of uh, turquoise and blue in the background, and that's what I wanted to take inspiration from, particularly for the top row. So with that being said, the first color that I really just like was so drawn to and I wanted to put it put it in this palette. And this turquoise actually came from the Kaleidos Futurism 5 palette. So this is a beautiful palette that I actually used a few shades from to create this look right here. I tried to use like a few shades from like various palettes that I've included in this video for this makeup look. It's not like directly inspired by the video because I kind of went like a little bit off kilter, but um, anyway, this is the palette right here, and you have like, this beautiful turquoise color. I love this turquoise color. I use it all the time. I find it to be absolutely stunning, and it's so pretty. I think it's pretty. So yeah, that's it right there. There's that. And then moving on, you have like that beautiful, like, just like really just like vibrant, just turquoisey, sparkly metallic shade, and that actually happens to be this shade right here. So the thing is with this shade um, is that I feel like this finish is so glittery and so metallic and just so wet looking and something that I just like found to be like very sim and something that I found to be very common throughout the teasers that we've seen is that the and something that I found to be very common throughout the teasers that we've seen is that so many of um like the colors in the video are so vibrant and there's so many like metallic elements and I felt like this would be perfect to add to the palette because you just have like this like really just bright reflection with this shade and what I like about this shade in general especially since I've had a little bit of time to play with this formula and what I like about this formula in particular is that 
it just like fans over the eyelid in such a beautiful way. You have like so much multi dimension going on. You have so much of the sparkle and it's just absolutely stunning. We have that blue and I actually wanted to pick a blue that I felt was the closest to um, the sky as possible. Now, I wanted like a metallic because again, I wanted that like richness. I wanted that multi-dimensionality. Is that even a word? I don't know, but we're gonna use it today. So I actually reached for the KKW Beauty and Mario palette. Now, you might be surprised. You might be thinking, oh wait, why are you using this palette constantly? Why are you like just bringing it up all the time? I actually really like this blue and I've been wearing this blue a lot. So as a result, I've been really inspired by it. So I decided to put it in this video as well. So there's that all like right away you have like this beautiful selection of like, this beautiful trio of colors that i'm living for and then you have that turquoise and i really do think that that turquoise in my mind kind of coincides with like the um i'm not sure if that's sand in the background but it's like this like dark turquoise sandy background kind of desert i don't know what they're doing in this video because i have not seen the actual video i'm just seeing the teaser so i felt like i'm um, going back to the kaleidos futurism 5 palette that this dark turquoise was going to be a good um representation of that particular uh color in that well video and i actually did use that turquoise on my lids today if you can see it underneath all the glitter but um yeah there it is i'm very messy with swatches please forgive me but <laughs> makes me happy i wanted to include a duochrome in this palette and i decided to look no further than my beloved completely unused dream glow kit from anastasia Beverly hills this is pretty much it right here when it came to me it was shattered like this i probably should have returned it but i didn't get around to it but i was really inspired by this color ethereal um if you can even see it because it's so shattered um and i decided to include it in my uh, pseudo palette if you will so there it is it's so iridescent and so pretty this would be a pretty topper i think and then the next color is like actually that bright vivid hot pink of course inspired by the queen lady gaga herself and i decided to reach for the color pop Ooh la la palette. I uh, brought this palette up when I was doing my Valentine's Day palette that video went up on Valentine's Day and I'll put it in the cards but um, I decided to use this color in the center called Opulent again in this video. So as you can see it is a beautiful hot pink. Okay that color combination right there that is, that is making me happy right there. I love that. The next color is like this like molten gold. And this was like inspired by like the suits on like a whole bunch of these characters in the background. Um, and also like, the metallic themes that are sort of like present throughout this trailer or throughout this teaser, throughout the teasers, throughout the promotional teasers of this video. So I decided to pick up the uh, Kaleidos Futurism 1 palette. And um, I have actually yet to use this palette as much as I've been using um, the Futurism 5, but I really wanted to use like, this greenish gold color right here. It looks delicious. I mean, I think it does. I should stop trying to eat my makeup. That would be preferable. Yeah, I like it. So anyway, yes, that, that that's really pretty. Sorry, I'm just obsessing over my own creativity. If you're wondering, my moon sign is a Leo. My sun sign is a Libra. So if you're wondering why I'm such a show off, that's why. So if you look at one of the teasers for the video, you have like this like wrestling scene that takes place. I don't know what's going on. This video is so wild. But uh, you have like a lot of just like uh, red, orange, kind of elements in that particular clip so i decided to take inspiration from that did i just like rub shadow on my boob yep i did so i decided to include like this bright orange in the palette and i decided to look no further than my beloved juvia's place festival palette that i love very much it is it is spicy right here and i decided to wear or use this bright orange that i constantly love it's beautiful and here it is it's like a saturated just like color it is it is stunning my friends it is stunning next i have a red and if you guys watched my valentine's day palette mock-up video you all know that i also reached for this red in this palette right here the festival palette this is like my favorite red i love it and i could not not use it so here it goes 
It is stunning, and I like it very much. It was at this moment that I realized that I had completely forgotten to mention the next shade, which happens to be a yellow. Now, this is from the Kaleidos Futurism 1 palette, and this is what happens when you film late at night. You start forgetting things, and clearly I forgot to swatch this. Very sorry, very awkward. Um, anyway, moving on. If you look throughout the teasers, like there are like these like small elements of like this lime green, like this bright, bright green. And I wanted to include that in this palette because I felt like it would be a fun pop of color and green <laughs> to include. And one of my favorite like green colors that encapsulate that criteria would also come from the Tri Palette by Juvia's Place. I actually use this palette to create most of this look on my eyelids today. Um, I was playing around with it a lot, but this shade right here, oi, we love it. So this is like pretty much like this really bright green shade. I constantly find myself using it and oi, that, that's pretty. I, I like it. Last but not least, I have like that very, very, very vibrant pink that I'm kind of obsessed with. Yes, we already have a pink in this palette, but come on, Lady Gaga is like just outfitted in pink for much of this teaser, so I felt like it was necessary to include more than one shade of pink. And also, when I was experimenting with the color placement and like the entire like theme of this palette, I did notice that having like a pop of pink didn't necessarily look appealing to me. So what I wanted to do, <laughs> so, so, so what I wanted to do was to create like two pops of pink, one metallic color that would have like that kind of slight like reflect, and then another like really just like bright, like just pigmented matte version that you could like just put like everywhere. So I decided to go for the pink found in the Triumph palette by Judy's Place, clearly. And um, this is the pink that I decided to choose. It's really pretty. I also, I also used this in the Valentine's Day video. I I probably did but mm. but yeah anyway those are all the shades in my palette inspired by the Lady Gaga stupid love video it's called stupid love right yes I promise I'll probably remember this name after I've listened to it like 50 times on repeat that's how it is but um, yeah like these are honestly okay yeah I need to I need to remember like these color combinations and I need to use them in actual looks because like these are, I don't know, I'm kind of intrigued by this like, combination of color. So anyway, that was pretty much the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this slightly hectic, slightly just on the cusp of video. I do want to say this before I like just sign off for this particular video, but I hope that this kind of video inspires you to look into your own makeup collection, just to shop your own stash and see what you have. Because I just picked like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different palettes to create a 12 pan color story. And while this might be like a little bit of like an out there color story, it's definitely a little bit in your face. I still hope that you will take this as inspiration to maybe try and reconfigure some of your own color stories in your head to try to like just come up with like different color combinations, different modes of inspiration that you can use as a vehicle to use more of your collection. Now these are all palettes, well for the most part these are palettes that I do use quite regularly, but with these swatches I do think that this is just like an indicator of just how much I do need to use these palettes because because there are some interesting shades to be worn within these palettes that I do need to pay more attention to because I already own these palettes and might as well use them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me tonight and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.